Capricorn, this is your week ahead <clears throat> tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading. So if you're not a Capricorn birthday, but it's calling to you, it pops up in your algorithm. It's because there are probably Capricorn placements in your natal chart that are being triggered right now. And you need to hear this message because it arrives at just the right time. And this is where your message begins. Sweet results await. Only the busy bee gets the honey, and we know that you guys are always busy. But this card comes up as the result of hard work. And it's a verification or validation that what you've done is appreciated. Um, feeling really good about it, getting the results that you wanted from it, or maybe even better than the desired results. Um, all of those things are here. This, for me, is the sun card because there's an energy of brilliance and being seen being noticed being validated having good stuff happen because of your hard work so this is the outcome of decisions that you've made it doesn't have to be an actual work it could be maybe you were working on your relationship right maybe you've been in counseling and you're seeing major breakthroughs you're really happy there's a sweetness at the end of the labor and you're starting to taste that now which makes it taste even sweeter because you're exhausted and weather worn from the work and so the work kind of says it itself is that is that you've earned this and what I love about this energy especially for Capricorn energy is that a lot of times it's the only way that you guys are able to receive anything because you need the validation of the difficulty. You need the validation of the hard work in order to be able to accept any kind of rewards. And so it's coming to you in just the right way. We have seven at the top of the card, which indicates also the divine work week, right? Seven days and seven nights the universe was created. So perhaps you're creating a whole new world for yourself or you like that there's been a breakthrough or a newness that is about your life right now but Capricorn let's see what this is an indicator for remember as I divide the deck guys there are going to be cards that fall out I leave them where they lay because that's part of the message if you need a private reading I do do those please do uh, go to my website you can book and schedule right there on the site www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com and I will get those videos to you within 24 hours of whatever day you booked. And sooner if I can. I know you guys like that clarification and need those messages. Um, if you're just new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And ring that notification bell so that you know when I go live. And I do free public tarot card readings here. You can participate or feel free to become a member. Okay. Then you can get access to the members only live chats once a week. You ready? Here we go.
right. Time to heal. And now is a lucky time. This is 10. So there's a completion of a cycle, a completion of pain. So there is some success here. The success has to do with quelling or um, putting out some sort of fire or hurt or detriment or damage in your life. Time to heal is about purging toxins. It's about being able to take whatever was wrapping and twisting in your gut and expel it to a purpose, right? For a conscious purpose. It's almost like when we harness that kundalini energy of fire in our gut for purpose to expel it and almost cleanse us. That's what's happening. So this is a situation where you've worked really hard to fix or heal a circumstance. And there it's coming to completion. You're feeling like, oh my God, I, I can actually heal. I am actually healed. And then we have now is a lucky time. We have rabbit spirit. Rabbit spirit is all about prosperity and multiplication of what you have or resources it's all about fertility so this doesn't have to be literal though for some of you it could be literal when rabbit comes up this is a fertile time for you so that that could be part of your journey but fertility as in things are increasing rapidly right and a sense of whatever seed that you planted it's finally like it's like health has returned to a place that was sick and this may come as a surprise to you guys because I know you kept working on something but it doesn't mean that you actually had faith that something would be be healed or ever be able to flourish it's actually like it's like going from it's like going from the seven of pentacles like I'm doing all this work but I don't see anything but now I found what made it so sick I found what was the problem and all of a sudden it's like oh my god everything isn't dead and I still have a chance and I still have an opportunity with this thing that it was it's not like you started over or started new it's that you found the problem you found the discord or you will be finding Finding the discord this week and I know that that's really reassuring to you because you are a hard worker and you are that energy of I don't want to quit right or and and then you would blame it on yourself if something didn't work out but this is oh I found what was the toxin I just want to understand a little bit better what was the toxin here for Capricorn what was the toxin what did they discover or where do they discover it we have two of cups it has to do with the relationship that you had this is a very important person in your life if they're not an intimate partner i would be surprised because two of cups does indicate that but there is this indication of togetherness and connectivity and being with each other um so the toxin was about a relationship and since two of cups shows up face up it does indicate that there were still healthy roots here there, there was still a, a non-toxic connection, but clearly there was something here that was disrupting it. And that could have been what was so frustrating. Yes, these could be physical ailments. Um, yes, these could also be emotional or psychological or just relation, relational um, headbutting that had been going on. So let's dive into the seven day play by play to understand how this is playing out. I'm going to collect or get the seventh day. I'm going to see how this week wraps itself up. And then we'll go through the steps and the process and the details. Seventh day. How does this week wrap up? Or okay, doesn't want to reveal everything to me for Capricorn. Let's start over here in day one for Capricorn. Day one. <clears throat> We have the Page of Cups, so there's an offer or a newness or a freshness, a simple demonstration of kindness that could go a long way. This is also fertility, a breakthrough when it comes to be maybe becoming pregnant or being able to announce that you're having a new baby or being able to announce that whatever this new newness is, doesn't have to be a new baby, but um, that you're, you're happy to acknowledge it, you're happy to see it, or it's out in the open. 
and it enables you to walk away from doing stuff that you don't like. This could easily translate into you get a job offer that is really exciting to you. And it translates to you being able to walk away from whatever was draining you. Because that's what Eight of Cups represents. It represents I'm able, like what drains me. And Eight of Cups also represents the eclipse that's going to be happening on October 2nd. That is um, New Moon in Libra. So that New Moon in Libra is going to enable a new start or a new beginning or you're able to clear out the stuff that was overwhelming you because you have an option now or you have a breakthrough of some sort um you have another offer on the table let's put it that way what about day two or if this isn't day by day for you it could be the steps that it happens this is the clarity this is the communication, this is the certainty, this is the, oh my God, um, realization, being able to know the information that will win the situation for you, being able to talk about it or the, okay, yeah, oh wow, yes. You're starting to see your options. You're starting to see what you're capable of because a lot of people are loving your work. 1111, make a wish, guys, and appreciating what you do. It's becoming clear. I feel like I feel like if this is a business, a lot of offers are coming in, a lot of orders are coming in for you. Um, I feel like I feel like even if this is a relationship, there's a sense of um Real somebody realizing how good you are at something or how you have contributed in so many ways to the prosperity, the expansion of their current situation. This sense of could be philanthropy here, doing right, doing good, doing the right thing, um, clarity and somebody recognizing that and realizing that maybe for the first time in a long time, but certainly there's an energy of being offered because people are impressed with you. Getting an offer because somebody's impressed with you. What about day three? We have the Six of Cups, which is abundant love or joy or the pleasures of the simple pleasures of childlike love or innocence. This is also the energy of um, a child or childhood joy, maybe a childhood friend, somebody from the past or rediscovering a love from the past. This is emotional fulfillment and contentment. And then we have disappointment. So you do have an acknowledgement somehow that something from the past was so wonderful that it could have served as a disappointment or like almost like a setup. So in other words, what day three reveals is that the comparison is what's getting in your way because it's not that things aren't good now. There's just this understanding of but I want it to be like it was. It's not going to be like it was. And if you can accept that it's not going to be like it was, then there is an energy of you being able to turn around and see those two of cups and see that they're still there for you. Um, this could also be empty nesting. Um, if you're going through, you know, the loss of what the family used to be, not for a bad reason, just for a reason of now I have to shift my focus because I'm going to look back and I'm going to stay kind of like lost in the nostalgia of what it used to be when what it is right now isn't actually bad. There's, there's no actual wrongness about it. Um, so that's almost a, that's a major clarity, I think, because once that becomes clear, there's a way forward. What about day four? Okay. What about day four? A new opportunity is being presented to you, being handed to you. And then there's that way forward. So it's almost like, yes, 
Uh, now I know the direction that I want to go. I have a strategy moving forward of what I know is going to be most valuable. Recognizing the value and how to maintain that value, having a strategy to build upon or expand that value moving forward. Um, this could be, uh, it could be an air sign energy, something counselatory, somebody who counsels you, maybe a financial advisor, or simply a sense of you have a beautiful opportunity for work or for increased resources that will help you navigate the future and be able to see the future clearly and not feel stuck, right? Because day three could have also been sort of some ideology that you had that was disappointed, but now because of this breakthrough with regards to your resources, you have options or opportunities, so you're not stuck. We have the devil card here. Now that could represent you, Capricorn, but it's definitely fear and restrictions. So something is blocking you. And that would indicate it's fear that's blocking you. It's, um, yeah, it's fear that's blocking you. It's fear that's blocking you. Yeah, this is like being guarded. I feel like this is you identifying what the devil was, what maybe the monkey on the back was, the sense of what you were tied to or held down by or the restrictions. And then there's a sense of being very fucking guarded, um, being, being like, yeah, like being guarded. That's all I can say. You're, 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 you're trying to block out that sense of restriction or single-mindedness that you've had in the past. Okay, what about day six? It's almost like you're fighting with yourself. You don't want to have that same restricted mindset. And day six is moving forward but it's moving forward slowly. Something is stuck here with a job option or opportunity. We've got day seven that we have to get to, but this is almost a sense of not moving forward because something came too slow. What's gonna be required from you toward the end of the week is taking a leap of faith if you wanna move forward because that's what's trying to scare you. What's trying to scare you is, but I don't see it. I'm not holding it in my hand, so I shouldn't believe it, right? I don't want to be tricked. So there's this energy of, okay, uh, I'm, not, I'm not moving ahead. That might not be the right answer for you. You know, it's almost like I've got to see it to believe it. No, you've got to believe it to see it. Like this is going to, this is, this is, everything is going really well, but you can't always rely on the tangible. Sometimes you have to rely on your own ability to make the intangible tangible. So what is Capricorn supposed to do? If you're dealing with something legal, there could all of a sudden be restrictions or requirements, certifications, stuff like that, that you need to deal with. Something that maybe you should have seen or predicted. Um, clarify something moving too slow. Yeah, that mentality is not going to get you anywhere. The mentality of... The mentality of... I've got to take something step by step. I've got to be pedantic. That's not going to get you anywhere. That has to be clear or it's going to be made clear on day six. Let's get a moon card because we do have that new moon. Look at the bigger picture, right? Don't get lost or stuck in the fucking details because that's going to keep you in the weeds and keep you blocked. Something's trying to block you here. It's your fear that's trying to like, like this makes sense. It doesn't make any sense. Look at the bigger picture, zoom out, and you're going to see that there is still room for expansion and absolutely no need. Absolutely no need. Let's get a 
no need to panic or be worried. Look at that bigger picture. We have the gold card, divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. Let's go to the extended and see where this heads. I love you so much, Capricorn. The link is down below. I'll also pin it to the top of the comment section. I can't wait to see you guys there.